I'm Dr. Joel Groover and I teach soil science and conservation at Western Illinois University. That's in Macomb, Illinois. So my talk today was bio strip till the best of both worlds. Farmers have been doing tillage for a long time. We have specific agronomic objectives that we use tillage. Historically, we have used tillage for. And that might be residue management or restructuring the soil. Those objectives are very important. We, we can't go without those objectives being fulfilled, but we can fulfill those objectives in different ways. Some farmers have figured out how to do it in a never-till context. But I talked about how there are soils where it is just much more difficult to achieve never-till as a reliable, consistently performing system. And so farmers are trying to figure out the balance between the, the benefits of tillage and the real costs of tillage. And some farmers have figured out how to do that with strip till. But the, you know, kind of the next level beyond just using mechanical means of achieving those agronomic objectives is to use more biology. I profiled a bunch of farmers and told the story of how they, how they do an integration of, of mechanical strip till with biological strip till. As I started looking for a farmer that, or a farm that embodied real, a really high level of design of putting the tillage and putting the cover crops right where they were most synergistic and created the least risk of problems. The Shahs just, they had a system that was really, you know, really elegant. Their use of, of twin rows and of control traffic and of not just twin row crops, but twin row cover crops also. It, it just was an elegant system. That concept of, of designing a system so everything fits well together and things are synergistic rather than creating risk for other parts of the, the farm. Um, that's what we should be thinking about all the time. Strip till um, for almost all strip tillers is more than a tillage system. It is also a, an approach that moves residues away and delivers nutrients. And so it's just a, an integrated approach. The strip-till farmers seem to be the people that um, really try to do the best of both worlds, the, the high yield and the, the high conservation. The beauty of teaching, similar to agriculture, is you just, you just keep starting over and over again. You keep getting to try again. And so I'm looking forward to that new crop. In this case, in the fall, the new crop is students. In the spring, the new crop is crops.